So here we are on the 4th of October and I've noticed that some of my watermelons are now ripe. So that's absolutely wonderful. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of picking today. Now the way I tell whether a watermelon is ripe or not is the little tendril that connects the melon to the vine. You wanna wait till that dies off, goes like a brownie color. And another way of telling sort of in combination with that is the bottom of the watermelon where it touches the ground goes a yellowy color. So I'll give you a close up so you can see what I mean by that. So as we approach the melon, you can see the melon down here. Now this is indeed it, there. And you can see this tendril here where it connects to the vine. This is the vine, this is the tendril. You can see that's dying off. Now I could let that die off a little bit more than that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it just like that. And what you want to do is just give it a cut with the scissors there. So if we look at the bottom of this melon, I'll just get hold of it and show you. So you can see there, look, it's got like a slight yellowy tinge to it, and that's how you could tell if it's ripe also. Feels nice, nice weight to that melon, and a good size melon for this variety, Blacktail Mountain. So this one here, look, an absolutely teeny weeny little watermelon. So you see the melon there, look, and you see this really has died back. So you want to let it look like that before you cut it off. This is not ideal because I've got nothing to catch it with, but it's only small. Right. There we go, so that's uh, a teeny weeny watermelon. So here we are, let's uh, cut the watermelon and see what we've got. Looks promising so far. There we are, I'll try a bit. Right, so there we go. Nice uh, watermelon there. Certainly a lovely taste watermelon. And of course, these seeds here, I can also save these for growing next year. These won't have crossed because I've got no other watermelons growing in here. They won't cross with other melons, at least that's uh, my understanding anyway. So uh, very happy about that. That's one reason why I only grew one variety of watermelons, so I can save the seeds. Now let's see what we've got here. <laughs> A teeny little watermelon. Now you can see there, look that's not gone yellow but of course wasn't on the ground so one wouldn't expect it to <laughs> now that is cute that is what you call a bite-sized watermelon here we are little piece of that there tastes like a watermelon 